So here is my latest project, which is using this uh, old steering wheel to control this robot through Bluetooth. So this old robot I made about two years ago for a Robo Sumo competition. And if you don't know what that is, that is having two robots in a ring autonomously try and push the other one out while keeping in the ring themselves. There's a lot more uh, sensors on this, such like color sensors to sense the edges of the ring and all, but I took them off. The only sensor I kept was the ultrasonic sensor, but I'm not using it, I just like the look of it. So this is being controlled by an Arduino Nano, and the Bluetooth module is a CC41-A, uh, which you might know as a clone of the HM10, is what I actually ordered. They do work, it does work, but it has limited functionality compared to the HM10, but it still works. So I'll show you the uh, circuit controlling our steering wheel. So see, I just have an Arduino Uno strapped into it. There, uh, there's no real way I can mount it in and close it. There wasn't enough room for this to be inside and put the bottom cover on. But anyway, it still works at the moment. <coughs> so you see, there's lots of wires here which aren't connected because there is a lot of switches here but I am only using this Xbox button and this player 2 LED the player 1 LED was blown when I tried to work with it and the other two inputs I'm using is the actual steering wheel and these two pedals so once I press this button it will go into searching mode and this player 2 LED will start flashing every half second and then once we're connected to the robot, that LED will go solid and it'll be able to take in our inputs and we'll actually be able to drive the robot. So I'll just show you that now. Just set up everything. So I'm just going to switch on the robot and turn on your server searching. Sometimes take a few seconds and now we're connected. And we'll see our robot there. And I'm pressing the right pedal in, and I'll turn it left, turn it right, doing little donuts, let's reverse. Now, uh, because this was made for a Robo Sumo, oh, we're kind of stuck at the moment, I'll fix that. Uh, we didn't want the robot to get scooped up. So the front edge is going along the ground and the back edge is doing the same. So sometimes it gets caught on this when driving around. So if anyone else is building this, I would suggest build one that isn't made for Robo Sumo fighting. And maybe have more powerful motors or uh, supply more current to the motors as well. I'm using two 9 volt batteries. Oh, stuck again. Well, stop that. Yeah, I'm using two 9 volt batteries. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. It doesn't want to move anymore. So I'm using uh, two 9 volt batteries in parallel because I wanted to supply the motors with 9 volts, but the 9 volt batteries don't have a high capacity. So I put two in parallel so I could supply more current. So I'm just going to switch him off. So yeah, the circuit ring code for all this will be on my instructor's post, which will be in the description. And if you're interested in other projects I built, uh, just go on to my uh, blog, which is roborow.wordpress.com. Alright, thanks for watching.